Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kami Trent. I know normally I do an intro video, but um, something is going on with the the app that I use to do editing and it's not working and I'm frustrated and so we're just going to do straight video. And we're going to do a video of, someone mentioned this, they were asking for this and I'm like, well, why not? Cloud video. And I just took my Arches 100% cotton paper. It looks more like a seven by nine piece and I just taped it down in half. And there's two ways I paint clouds. I can paint a nice wash of paint on the side of like color and then I dab it out with paper towel. I'll show you how to do this. And this one you just paint the negative space. So I'll show you the, the negative space one first. So here's your plain paper. You can kind of sketch out where you want to have a water, where you want the clouds to go. I would start by painting some of the cloud, you know, darkness. It could be brown and gray. Oh, excuse me. I have my Grumbacker number 10 brush, by the way. Just the shadow of the cloud. And here it's like a brown, grayish color. This cloud. Very faint, very light, so you can barely see it. I'll zoom in a little bit. Same thing here, just like this blobby little shadow color. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint this negative area. Outside of the, the positive is the ones coming up forward, and the negative is the ones going backward. And so I've got this dark indigo here. Or it can it doesn't have to be this dark. I mean, wash in some ultramarine. Just darker than this, obviously. So we're actually going to paint and leave the white where the cloud would be. Painting this whole area. outside of the cloud. So go in and fill this all in. Like so. And this color might be a little too dark because, you know, during the day, would it be this dark? Probably not. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some lighter blue this uh, cobalt. And you're just painting the areas that wouldn't be the cloud. Just like that. Gonna add even brighter color. Just filling that in. So this is still fairly light, but I'm going to go back in and add the dark shadows. And blend it up towards the white part. See, so it's starting to look more like the dark cloud. one way of doing it. That's a little too dark. So I'm going to wipe that, wash that down. But you 
get the idea how you just putting the shadows. This is a little brown and a little black. And then you have this dark cloud. And the white part is the like the highlight. Again, go back in with this blue color. Just split a little bit, so I'm gonna clean it up. Go back in with some concentrated blue color. Fill that in. Did you get the idea? So I'm filling it with the brighter blue color up in here too. This is your dark clouds. Stormy kind of clouds. The shadow. Keep going in and adding some darker shades. Still have that little halo. Just in the tip of the outside of the cloud. And I'm filling in this area. There's still a little light down here, but that's okay. I'm going to add a little more blue down here. And like I said, you can still go in and add some more depth to the clouds. Depends on how dark you want it to get. Storm clipped clouds. But you pretty much get the idea. So on this side, this is even easier. You can take your, I'll take a bigger brush and I'll grab my Princeton number 12. It's really big. And take your turquoise, blue, whatever colors you got. I'm gonna just wash in this color. Pretty wet. This is fairly wet. I'm going to add some more concentrated blue towards the top. Maybe a little ultramarine towards the top. Swoop it around. Can even get some more of this down here. You're doing a bright turquoisey type sky. Then you want it fairly darker up top. Just trying to blend this. It's a nice little beading kind of look to it. Just keep adding. This is fairly wet. So 
so it should blend pretty nicely. Okay. So while that's still wet, I take my paper towel and just crumple it up like this. And then we're going to just dab it, take off that paint. Cloud. <laughs> this is the easiest cloud you can ever make. No lie. I mean, you can't get better than that. If you got a paper towel and you've got paint, you've got clouds. How easy was that? Well, and there goes that. Those were easy to do, right? This is still wet, still needs a little more color around this area. But you can keep playing with that, filling that in. And the hair still got a little dry and the color faded, so we want to add some more of that mysterious cloud cover. And that's how you do clouds. Two ways. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, well, actually, while I here, I might as well release the tape. <laughs> I must forgot to do that. I'm releasing the tape so that you can reveal the clouds. Oops. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you have a great Saturday and talk to you later. Bye.